Hey YouTubers, this is Jay's Automotive, doing a quick video, because everybody out here is charging X amount of dollars. So if you have a spreader, or even a spreader with the smallest motor, which would be better, but I got somewhat heavy 12 volt motor for a spreader. Well, if you don't have a controller, speed controller, Next option is, is go to salvage yard or see what you got laying around in your shop. I had other parts for a donor truck and I thought this will work. So, I have a blower resistor. It's temporarily stuck in my uh, vent. It's just temporarily, just for the winter. Um, I might switch it up to electronic resistor where it doesn't need too much airflow, you can do like an external resistor, so you have the atmosphere air cooling it, but it does get hot because it's the old school wraps, coils, so they will generate a little heat, so usually in winter time you always got your vents going, your blowers going, so I'll just stick it here, this is the side it doesn't have as much flow as this side does so it'll still get some air passage but it's never going to always be running that much at one time to make too much of a problem but as long as I have some air for safety um, I made this a rig temporary rig I might make something in the spring a box for it and shorten all the leads up but just for now, just to get it going, I already tested it on the car battery and wired not everything together. Like I said, this is all temporarily because I don't want to waste money on wire nuts, on wire crimps that are potentially going to end up cutting and shorting this. For now, I just took as much access I needed out of the wiring harness and rewired it back together. Um, this will be going to a blower motor, which usually will be over there. These are your two main power leads, where all your grounds lead to, and your main hot. That will be running to the battery somewhere, and then I'm just going to jump a ground to the block, and then run it back in so it has its own leads running into the car so it don't melt anything of the vehicle for any reason there will be a fuse link like a 25 or so i think i want to put in here and then i'm going to build some type of box that i can mount the switch to and i want to have to get the knob for it wherever i might have one and that'll be my knob for my three speeds mainly it's going to probably be mode one and then maybe mode two and that's it three I, I don't see me using it because that's battery powered mostly I just need a small power feed to get a small rotation in the spreader so you get more material spread out faster without wasting it so there's that my little description how you want to pronounce it and this will be this ignition wire here all this material is from a Chevy you get it from a truck a Tahoe or whatever but any vehicle that you have just look up if it's running from the PCM or whatever if it's just running off of the switch the power from the switch to, to the switch and then from the switch to the resistor and relay then you can just take everything out from a salvage yard and wire it up to your spreader and you should be fine. I always suggest running heavy wire. I do have 8 gauge running to the spreader. This is looking like maybe a 12 gauge. So what I'm going to do, I'm probably going to get like a 10 gauge and I'm going to run it from this under my dash where I got it coming in I got it coming in right there 
that I'm going to be connecting the, the positive lead to so all my electrical will be inside so there's no reason to really properly watertight these connections at this moment so I figured just run this by because everybody's out there trying to resell old use spreader controllers for close to anywhere from 200 and some dollars up to like five to six hundred dollars if I want to spend that type of money I'll go straight to the manufacturer and spend it because that's how much they are going for so the next best option is to figure out what other things has a speed control well your blower motor in your vehicle okay well I had another blower motor that I took out of another heater box and I have wiring so I went and see what I had and all the connections the only thing I cut out was the blend doors so once you cut it just cut your blend door wires off and only use what you need for the resistor going to the relay so you power the relay and you wire all your resist resistor wires to the switch by color they pretty much go by color by the plug area they switch colors a little bit but so just basically go from the plug and just double check it as you're wiring make sure they go in the same area so I didn't have to rewire nothing everything seems to be okay right at the moment um, I bench tested it to my old blower motor and played with it it worked put it on the vehicle hooked it up to the spreader and it worked so I'm going to head and run it I'm going to test it out and see what happens and we'll go from there alright everybody have a nice day